From a distance of five or six miles, we are looking northwest. Note the small clear slot of the rear flank downdraft, or RFD, wrapping around the tornado. The intermittent growth and discoloration of the debris cloud is probably due to the tornado moving across freshly plowed fields and then exiting them to cross grassy terrain. Near the end of the sequence, a wide angle view enables us to see that the tornado is indeed at the rear or southwest flank of the storm. A secondary dust whirl or weaker tornado is also briefly visible at this time, northeast or to the right of the main tornado. This is the same tornado as in clip number three, except from within a few hundred yards. As the dust whirl of a tornado first appears to our northwest, note the strong southerly inflow winds blowing through the weeds along the road. Then, as the tornado intensifies and moves across the road, a very dramatic wind shift, the RFD, moves across the photographer's position. These west winds are quite strong. Note how this gust front literally pushes the bottom of the tornado forward or eastward as it moves across the road. Most tornadoes tilt back away from the storm to the southwest as they begin to dissipate, but this one tilts forward. Apparently, the direction of tilt is often dependent on the angle from which the RFD winds strike the tornado.